Hey YouTube, it's your boy Veko. You can find me on YouTube by typing in the search engine V-E-K-L and you're watching G-Man's channel Preaching to the Choir Ministries. God bless. G-Man gets owned by the Magic Sandwich Show. DPR kicked his butt Aaron Raw kicked his butt. What else is new? Let's do this! <laughs> Hello fellow space travelers, Bionic Dance here. And today, we're going to take a look at Aaron Raw and the exchange that he had with G-Man and True Empiricism. Now, I don't know much about Ronnie, but I know plenty about G-Man. That chowder head always gets on my nerves, always trying to goat me into a debate. But anyway, I'll show you guys why he couldn't stand a chance against little old me. So I guess I can challenge you to a debate then, because uh, the things I'm going to be asking you, I don't think it's going to, well, again, that's between you and true Uh You made a lot of comments in your Ten Commandments uh, video that I have issues with. Um. For one thing, in this hangout, you said that you can back up everything that you say. And I'm assuming yep. you can do it scientifically, right, or with the scientific method. Okay. And and <laughs> in reference to the Ten Commandments, uh, I, I don't even know where to begin. You seem to have a problem with thou shall not steal, thou shall not kill. Uh, and, and by the way, Aaron, before I go a step further, I agree with you. I do not believe that this country is a, um, is a Christian nation, nor do I believe that it was... Um, in the beginning. So so me and you are on the same page there. Just want to say that, okay? However, okay. you seem to have a problem with thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt thou shalt, shalt not commit adultery, thou um and and and, and the other uh, 10 commandments. Why? Well, the first 3 I can understand. Well, the first 4. Why is it that you have a problem with the, thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal? Yeah, you it was, you did you watch the whole presentation. I did watch the whole presentation. Well, I, first I, of I, all, I did watch it. And, okay, and well, can't... first of all, the Ten Commandments that you're talking about, they're not the Ten Commandments. They're the ones everybody mistakes for the Ten Commandments, but there are 11 commandments just in, chapter, just in Exodus 20. Listen, G-Man, there's 11 commandments. Aaron Ross, correct. There's 11 commandments. Please don't go on the route. Don't start doing what you normally do. Come on, G-Man, please. Come on. Don't, don't, don't do it, G-Man. You're so cute. Come on, G-Man. And they continue on so that there are dozens. I didn't take the time to count them all because it was no point in it. There were several dozens that I could see. And so what the Bible eventually comes up and says are the Ten Commandments, the ones that actually ended up in the Ark of the Covenant, are the ones that are in Exodus 34. And they're the ones that say that you're supposed to sacrifice your own children. And they're the ones that say that you're not supposed to boil a baby goat in its own mother's milk. That's the problem I have with it. That, and it, if you're really going to be setting down timeless commandments for people to follow, it wouldn't be that set. No actual superior being would have concocted that mess if you had only ten commandments to give to all these people. And it wouldn't okay, be adapted so, from something that already happened with Hammurabi. Okay, so let's put that theory to the test since we're talking about the God of the Bible and not Hammurabi. Um, what state in the union has an issue? I'm sorry. What state in the union doesn't punish those who kill someone uh, for no apparent reason whatsoever? What state in the union uh, uh, doesn't punish anyone for that? What country in the world? Before no, no, I mean, or after I mean, I mean Moses. state in the union in the United that was States. Illegal before Moses, right? And and before um, Moses, before Moses's time, it was already illegal to kill people before Moses. Right, because that was one of the laws given down by in the Stella of Law that was handed out by Hammurabi 500 years before the time estimated for Moses. You know Aaron, Aaron, yeah, 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 Aaron, 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 go Aaron. You know Aaron, if, if, I, if, I, if I may interject here, um, G Man. Um, very shortly before Moses disappeared into the desert for a while, um, what did he do? do? He killed uh, a slave owner, did he not? 
Uh, he he yeah he killed a slave person over yes. there night. And, and and if you read yeah. if you read, read the description of that in the Bible, he quite clearly knew that what he had done was wrong. Exactly. So why That's did my it point. take him another another few years before he got to the top of Mount Sinai to be told by God that killing was wrong, for him to not because know Israel, that killing was wrong? Because Israel wasn't a nation yet, and this law was given for for, for the nation of Israel. All right, six, it was six, only six, for Israel. All six hundred and thirteen of these laws were given for the nation of Israel. It was not given to me, right. and it wasn't given to uh, other Christians. Now, now the reason why I'm asking you these questions, uh, Aaron, because you've seen the mix Judaism with Christianity a lot, as if I'm under the Mosaic law and I have to obey the Mosaic law. You said that. Yeah, that, because that Jesus said so. You can back up everything that you oh, said. Yeah. Can you please show me in, right. in, in scripture where it says that I'm bound? To the Mosaic Law, and I will gladly show you a scripture where I am not bound to, to the That's Mosaic. the beauty of the. G man, such a chowderhead. Just saying. Yeah, that's the beauty of the Bible, isn't it? You can find contradictory statements for everything in there. I don't know where you can find a contradictory statement for First Kings twenty-two, where God again says that He lied. You're not answering what? my question that I asked you. Okay. Okay. You're asking for me to repeat what I already said in the presentation. When Jesus said that he came to fulfill the law, and that if you break even one jot or tittle of the law, then you will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. You're, you're completely omitting that. Even though you already have the answer to that question and you've ignored it, you're asking me the same question again as if I hadn't already answered it. Well, well actually... Actually, I'm not ignoring you. I dealt with that in my series. All, to all these laws. What okay. series? In, in my series, I made about you uh, giving Aaron Raw an education. Uh, Exodus chapter 19, verse 5 and 6 says, Now, therefore, okay. if, if ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people. For all the earth is mine, verse 6. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. There are, these are the words of which thou shalt speak to the children of Israel. It does not say to the, to, to the church in the future. And remember, the New Testament did not begin, or rather, the, the new covenant under Christ didn't begin until Jesus Christ shed his blood. Once that happened, he and then into, Jesus, into, the day of Pentecost happened, that's when we're under a new covenant. So where are you so getting Jesus this? I'm, I'm under the Mosaic law. So Jesus didn't send his people out to, to the Gentiles. And he didn't tell them that you won't even be able to visit all these lands before you see me return in the kingdom of power. That didn't happen? What has that got to do with what we're talking about? It had nothing to do with what we're talking about. Okay. Absolutely it, it has everything to do with it because you just said that this was only under the kingdom of Israel. And yeah, although the Bible does, I admit, contradict itself constantly. And it does have Jesus saying that he's only here for the Jews and he'll only provide services for the Jews. And I can't give the scraps of the table for any other people, you dogs. I understand that there's, you've got those points. And then you've got where Jesus later on tells his people to go off to the Gentiles too. So yeah, the Bible contradicts itself to death. We're aware of that. You're not proving a point here. Hey, Aaron, is it possible that you could be wrong about everything that you know about the Bible? Is it possible? No. You could be wrong about everything that you know about no. Scripture. Oh, so it's not wrong that you could be wrong no, about everything you know about Scripture. It's not possible it that I could possible? be wrong. It's not possible that I could be wrong about everything I know about the Bible. No. It is possible okay. is that it? you could be wrong, more wrong about the Bible than I ever could be. That is possible. Is it That's possible probable. that you could be wrong about the issue about the law? Uh, found in the Old Testament, and whether or not Christians are supposed to be bound to that. Is it possible that you could be wrong specifically about that? Yes, I've argued with Matt Dillahunty about this, because he said that there's certain laws that apply to Christians, and there's certain laws that apply to Jews, and that there was this breach according to the way that he was raised as a Protestant. And so his interpretation would be more like yours. But I wasn't raised with a Trinitarian background, so I don't have the limitations of interpretation that he does. So that means so, you can't back up everything that you're saying. Then. What? How, how does it not? Well, back up what you're G -Man, saying. G-Man, your own... just like I told you on the phone, you have to go to this lecture by Aaron Raw. You'll learn so much about evolution, about your own religion, and about your immoral Bible. I mean, your Bible is so immoral. I mean, I had to go to evilbible.com just to get the information about how evil your Bible is. 
G-Man, please take my advice. Stop running on automatic and please think.